Yeah, you know, wonderful well, thank to have you. So you. Much. Let's let's. This do... looks like my basement, you know. <laughs> it used to be a basement, yeah. then we converted it, right? It is awesome. Uh, Look at all the stuff, the artwork. So it's let's really. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. James George. I'm an abstract artist in Woodbury, New Jersey, a retired emergency physician. And with me today is my special guest, Mr. Mark Partridge. Hello. And Mark uh, is a wonderful abstract artist who has something in common with me. He is also a licensed attorney and a member of the yep. bar, yep. as I am. But in addition, he also has a Master of Business Administration degree. Yep. I have a medical degree and a law degree. But Mark is one-upping me <laughs> by now almost completing his Master of Fine Arts degree yep. at the Philadelphia Academy of Fine Arts. Correct. And Mark, it's a wonderful experience to have you in our studio. Well, thank you. Thank and, you so much. And for, welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. George, for having me. <laughs> it's a it's an honor, a pleasure to be here with a fellow uh, artist uh, and um, a fellow attorney. Although we're not talking about the law, the law. today. Ah, that's right. It's we're talking about inspiration. It's art. Yes. And that's what brings us together. And I and I asked Mark to bring three of his paintings, one of which I've purchased, and we're going to save that for our final video together. But Mark, in a kind of abbreviated way, tell us about this painting. So very quickly, this painting started with, um, with me writing a poem mm -hmm. in Spanish, which is my mother tongue, believe it or not. And so it's a poem about a memory I had with my grandfather, of my grandfather. My grandfather, I told you um, from my mom's side, um, the guy who came from Mallorca, he, as a hobby, he uh, was given to sewing fishing nets. So I have this very vivid memory of me sitting by him and he was doing his netting and I was just talking to him. Mm -hmm. So based on that uh, memory of my m early memory, I wrote a poem which I captured behind this canvas. And you see some of the, yes. the word is bleeding, right? Yeah. Now, the next iteration of it is that I, and I, we used to live very close to where he lived in, in at the beach. My, my grandfather would live here. We would live here, and I have memories of my mother uh, and I, along with my brother, walking by the beach to go to my grandfather's house. So that took me to the idea of, all right, let me see how this looks at Google, on Google Maps. Mm -hmm. And I was able to capture the coastline mm -hmm. of that route wow. that we took every morning. And it's a, a beautiful coastline. Uh, it is a beautiful <laughs> coastline because as I was doing the coastline, suddenly this notion of um, a female figure came up. Mm -hmm. And so I asked myself, well, what do you, how are you going to relate the poem about your grandfather, the female figure, the coastline? And at the end of the day, what this is all about, this is, um, this is an expression of stacked memories and that's the name of this piece of work it's a it's a it's a mash of several set of memories mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it speaks about you know the mother in all of all of us mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. who is guiding over uh, and and protecting us through uh, or across every place we live right in this instance the context was the beach the shoreline but it's universal in that in our lives we've always had a very special person who has guided us, who has taken care of us, who has been there to protect us and shelter us from all and all threats, right? Yeah. And so I think that this is 
how this piece comes together. Uh -huh. uh, and so um, when I finished it, I looked at it and I said, oh my God, this is a, a gorgeous piece of work. It is. It's and beautiful. so that's, that's how I, I, I came to share it with you. It's beautiful and Stacked Memories is a beautiful title and the fact that it began with your scribing a poem in Spanish over which you've overlaid this beautiful, colorful piece of art is mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. Well, thank you so much. God bless you. It's I think beautiful. that uh, I wanted to share this one, so I'm glad that uh, uh, you know you see a lot of your, your you know it's, it's interesting, beautiful, beautiful. And I, you know, one of the things that I that has happened in my going to school again in these years is that suddenly I'm bursting out in in, in writing poetry. Wow, I've never done it before. That's amazing. And so that's proof of the fact that the brain is working and firing, you know, in many different uh, directions. So, so there you go. That's so, folks, we hope you enjoy this conversation about stacked memories with Mark Partridge. Thank you. Thank you.